Hi, it's Catherine. And today we're going to talk about one critical question you need to ask yourself about the way you want to work. Hi, this is Catherine Morgan of Point A to Point B Transitions. And today we're going to talk about one critical question that you need to know about yourself and how you want to work in order to be happy and not crazy stressed out. This question is sort of a decision diamond as I'm talking to both my job search clients and my solo consultants. And the question is, do you want to manage people? Now, some people immediately come back and say, I love managing people. I love mentoring and watching their career progression. And I, it, it's very fulfilling. And that's actually one of the things I miss in my current role or situation as a solo consultant. And it might be one of the drivers for why an entrepreneur would go back to being an employee is that they missed uh, working with a team and growing and mentoring a team. But more often than not, my people tend to say, no, I actually don't want to manage people. I want to be an individual contributor. I like people. I like working in a team, but I do not want to be responsible for the day-to-day -day cat herding and listening to whining and HR issues and learning plans and performance reviews and all that stuff that goes with managing people. The uh, burden of that kind of responsibility isn't worth it to them. The problem comes when somebody, for ego reasons, thinks that they should like to or should manage people, for example. Uh, client came to me as a referral, was completely sold out, stressed out, crazy drama going on in his business. And as we pulled up from the fact that, you know, he was sold out and some clients were great and some clients were not, we could get clear on the types of projects he wanted to do pretty quickly. But as we kept digging, the real issue was that he just didn't like managing people and he had unrealistic expectations about what that part of his business would look like. And he hadn't really considered the fact that when you're managing people and growing a business bigger than you as a solo consultant teaming perhaps with other solo consultants, you're getting pulled out of the work that you actually love and that jazzes you. And that may not over the long term be satisfying. So it was sort of a, a push pull thing with him for a while. Um, he, he was realizing that he really wanted to be a solo consultant and that actually made him happier, but he had the ego attachment to growing a bigger business. And I'm like, well, here's what your life looks like growing a bigger business. It's accounting meetings, it's reporting, it's managing people, it's finding substitutes when someone's sick, it's having them look at you every day and say, hey boss, you know, what do we do today? Um, that's just part of running a business, being a, a manager, operations, all that stuff. If you don't want that kind of overhead and headache, you can make a perfectly great living being a solo consultant, but just you know, own it. So that's what I want you to think about today is, do you want to manage people? I personally have always preferred an individual contributor role. I, I like being part of a team. I enjoy it, but I, I don't want the headache. So if you don't, that's fine. Just own it and look for appropriate roles, either within corporate or the type of business that you're gonna grow. And, and that's, either way you go is fine. There's no right answer to this. There's no one way to make a living. I hope this has been helpful. 
This is Catherine Morgan from Point A to Point B Transitions, and this has been your Morgan Moment. <laughs>